So it's this morning at 6.45. My underwear is wet. I realized I hadn't pissed my pants during the night, but I had a wet dream. Now, this is normal, you know, I'm on nofab semen retention, right? The usual. So this can happen. So I disregard it and I shut yeah. off my alarm clock. I'm pretty motivated. You know, I go take my morning poop while reading on my Kindle, which is a part of my morning routine. And then I take my cold shower. It was four minutes and 20 seconds. I come in the living room. I do my meditation. 20 minutes. After that, I walk up to my habit tracker, which is on my wall right there. And I check off the three habits. The night earlier, I had spent like so much energy and time to perfectly plan what I was going to do today. And that was like time block. I also have it in my notepad so I know exactly what to work on after I got up and I got like awake and did my morning routine. So evidently nothing could go wrong, right? So I open up Safari, which is the only browser where the extension cold turkey blocker, it's like a program which basically installs a virus on your computer to block all uh, bad websites like porn websites, uh, YouTube uh, distractions and stuff. And Safari doesn't allow it because it's, you know, from Apple and they're like kind of cringe with their policies. Out of habit, you know what I do? I click on the YouTube homepage. Just because I, I just want to see like what, what other people are posting. Maybe it'll inspire me. Cope. Fucking cope. I end up on three videos, like in new tabs, five seconds later. Guess how long I spent on YouTube following that? Three and a half hours. It was like, I got up at 6.45, I did my morning routine, I got like ready, you know, for deep work at eight. That's fine, that worked. I sit down, it was 11.30 when I stopped. It started like with a, with a good video, which like kind of inspired me. I clicked on it and I was watching, it was like of another guy in self-improvement. And it was similar to like the video I was actually making that day. And so I watched like halfway of it, but then the recommended feed was open and the algorithm absolutely knows me better than anyone else. You know this, bro, that's why we block this shit. They spend millions on the algorithm to make it perfect. So I'm like, fuck, I open it in a new tab and I'm like, just, just that one. And that was a little bit already more of a useless video, degenerate video. And after that, ooh, I end up on Twitch streamers, like gaming Twitch streamers. Twitch is like a live stream platform. And I used to watch these guys like when I was like sort of degenerate, like with, up until 20 years old. So like up until like two, two or three years ago, right? And, you know, of course, there's like still in my mind, they were like a big part of my childhood. You probably have this also with like your people that you used to watch when you were younger. And there's like this um, YouTube channel, it's called Jubilee. And they have like this comparison between men and women often, right? And these Twitch streamers, they react to that for 20 minutes. After that, I was watching memes of Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is like my favorite show ever. I think it's the best TV show ever made. You probably know how good that show is. And I am re-watching it with my girlfriend right now. So I was like looking up a sp specific scene on YouTube, even though I wanted to be doing deep work. And I was like, I had everything prepared perfectly, but just because I fucking opened that browser, I was now looking up a Breaking Bad scene after watching Twitch streamers, which had no benefit to my life. I didn't even enjoy it because I don't even like these guys anymore. I think they're all stupid. I don't look, I don't like them. What the fuck am I doing? Then I look up this Breaking Bad scene and I end up fucking watching. Bro, there is like these fucking stupid memes of shows where it goes into like a, oh, it's funny because it's so stupid direction. You know, it's like distorted. The audio is like fucked up. The, the, the idea is just stupid. It's like, it makes no sense. So it's like this, oh, random equals funny. And I actually laughed. I, I can't lie, I enjoyed that shit. And then I watched like half an hour of that. And it's like the most retarded shit. It's like one of the characters having like a distorted voice and like it's the, the image is also like all warped. I was watching that 
instead of doing the hard work on my business to help me build a family and gain financial freedom and freedom with my time to fulfill my other purposes. I was watching a fucking old guy from Breaking Bad have a distorted voice, say some stupid memes. You know what the three and a half hours ended on? Like the last 45 minutes was a dude who looked like a Viking throwing axes and like drawing a longbow and seeing which helmet, which armor would get penetrated by like these medieval weapons. All of these things deeply interest me or used to interest me as a kid and it's still like ingrained in me. Like for example, if you played video games your entire life, but you're on self-improvement, you stopped for a year or two years, maybe you play sometimes, even though you don't want to do it, it still kind of interests you. Because your self-image still has parts of that. And instead of like being happy about it because, you know, I did stuff that I thought was fun, I I absolutely hated myself. I had this intrinsic self-hatred because I was living in regret and like immediate regret. It's a bad habit that I do. I was thinking, I could have done this, could have done that, could have done this different. Fuck, if I didn't just fucking do that, I would already have like my, 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 my three videos that I wanted to record done, which is like the biggest project of the week because I want to make these videos good. So I script them, I have like ideas and I'm like, hmm, what would help the most people? An app that's supposed to be fun or even educational is actively taking part in making me hate to myself. Because I know I'm destined to do better. And I know I, I'm destined to fulfill my potential. But if I don't work for it, then I don't deserve it. And I know that until I learned to forgive and simply learn from past errors, I would sabotage the rest of the day. Because I ended up sitting down, realizing what I had done. And this is a big part of my protocol of eliminating any content addiction habit like TikTok, Instagram, you need to form a better relationship with yourself to invoke change in your self image, because it won't work with hatred. It won't, it won't work with regret. Will never. Same with fapping or, or relapsing your streak, which I think is retarded anyway, because it builds up pressure. But the, the acceptance that it happened and the way you speak with yourself afterwards is so important. This one app has had so much control over my life and my mental health. This fucking YouTube app, one fucking app is deciding sometimes what I spend my days on and is deciding how I feel about myself, which translates directly into all other regions of life. Well, imagine how fucked up that is, bro. They are taking so much away from us. They are taking our control away from us. Our mind should be on our own side, but if you've ever relapsed nofap or watched YouTube all day, even though you didn't want to, you know how it feels. You hate yourself after that. You can't help but have like a little bit of, of a respect loss for yourself. This content consumption has destroyed my mental health more than anything in, in, in the entire existence that I have been on this planet. And I've, yeah, I've been lucky that way. I didn't have like a traumatic experience and all the adversity, like my mom dying or me being deathly sick, I have learned from, and I'm actually grateful for those, but I'm not grateful for all the time I, I lost on YouTube. I'm not grateful for all of the learning lessons I missed out on by watching YouTube videos thinking I was learning something when I could have read a book. I'm not grateful for this app having the control over my mental health 
our goal has to be to eliminate these bad habits like porn, procrastination, YouTube, content addiction, to then be even able to enjoy them because this was not enjoyment. Wanting to do work but spending and wasting time on YouTube, that is not enjoyment. That is a pure loss of control. And if you want to reach any of your big goals, you cannot have a loss of control over your own actions and your own mind. So in order to be able to even enjoy watching a YouTube video from now and then, you need to learn to eliminate it completely first. And after you went through that sacrificial process of being extremely disciplined, then you can get to a point where you can actually start appreciating it for what it brings to your life instead of what it takes from your life. I'm fucking done with this content addiction, man. I'm done with hating myself because of these apps and the social media and wasting time on that shit. There's so much to do. I could have read a book. I could have went to the theater and watched a play. I could have watched a thought-provoking and even entertaining movie. I could have watched a documentary. I could have called my girlfriend. I could have called a friend. I could have simply taken a walk. I could have listened to a podcast and worked out. I could have went to the movies even because it's a social thing. I could have went to the gym. It's a social thing. If I didn't have the discipline to just resist, then I could have just gotten up and taken a fucking step back from my desk and been like, okay, I'll do the work in an hour when this impulse has fucking passed. But no, I go on YouTube to just check something and change something. And I'm, I'm like in a complete hyperbolic time chamber where all my control is taken away from me, it seems. Ridiculous. But I'm close. I'm close to stopping all my bad habits forever. If you want to follow that process and if you want to help me do it and I help you do it, I have a community. It's the first link in the description. It's all about eliminating bad habits, starting with procrastination. I have like a huge course on it there. We do like daily group calls. It's like pretty fun. We share advice and everyone asks me a bunch of questions and, and it's, a, it's a great environment to like get to know each other, right? So if you're interested, just click the link. You can watch the video, you can read through it. And if you're fucking sick and tired of these bad habits, robbing your control, robbing your, your, your actual life force where you want your time to go, not where they want your time to go, then it's their community from you. I hope you don't do this. If there's one piece of advice you should take away from me is that when you relapse and you will, don't self-sabotage, don't hate yourself. Sit with yourself, realize what happened, recenter, refocus, and attack. That is the only thing you should be focusing on. The past is unchangeable. It does not matter. It does not matter. You might think it matters. It does not matter. Oh, all the things you could have done. Oh, and now I, oh, I can't get this done today. Oh, I could have done this and that instead. Could have, should have, would have. It doesn't fucking matter doesn't matter. Only thing that matters is that you do better next time and you do better right now because you only have right now. Seasons change. Weeks and months are completely man-made. But the day has a cycle. Sun goes up, sun goes down. So make the most of what you have left. And remember, Years are made up of months. Months are made up of your weeks. Your weeks are made up of your days, but your days are made up of your first four hours of the day. Don't let this shit happen to you like it happened to me. This morning was terrible. <laughs> I don't recommend it at all. It's not worth it. The pain of discipline is way less than the pain of regret. The pain of discipline is nothing compared to the pain of regret. I wish someone told me that when I was younger because I, this app made me hate myself so much. Hopefully this story was able to help you with that and inspire you. It's a long journey, man, but you can take the shortcut if you want to join the community I have and I'll see you there.